Today we're going to learn how to make a nice one bauble and colour it if you've got blank ones like me. So first you pick a colour, you can do any um, pattern you want to do. I'm going to do a uh, Santa Claus today. So. First, you want me to do a little curve, a line, and another little curve. As well, I am using markers, so it might be easier for you to do the But if you're doing normal kind of stuff and proper bubbles, then it might be easier to use paint. And all the stuff you normally use for crafts. Okay, now we're getting on to the beard. So for the beard you want to go nice and bumpy like this. Then you go a bit bumpy on the inside, then you do a nice circle, this is my mouth, you do eyes, and you do a little nose. So of course, if you're doing just plain paper and stuff, you can use crayons, but I'm using markers because I'm doing a wooden base as well, so... Sorry, I need to get a call, so be back in a second. Alright, so I've got a peach to do Santa's face now. We can start calling him in. Of course, you can do this in any order you want. You can just do the colouring first. I'm going to go over his eyes and then do them again. This might not work, but I've done better on the tree, which I'll show you later. I know this is quite odd, but it's my first time for doing a video for a long time, so I'm kind of in a rush to do this. So as well, I'm going to do a background with a light blue, but first, let's do his top. Go around and then you leave a space here for his buttons and jacket. And if you want, you can do a sack, but I'm just going to leave that. I might do it, but don't know. Might, might not. Who knows? So then we use the buttons. You can use gold like yellowy, like I've got here, but I'm going to use a black buttons. So before you do that, you might want to do the lining, just so you know where it is, and you can colour it in red again, or whatever underlayer top you might have, but I'm going to do another red layer. As well, layers can overlap, but if you just like to draw inside the lines, that's okay. But to make it easier, you can overlap. Now, what to do is buttons. Be 
before you do the whole lining, make sure you do a space for his arms. And then we can do that later. Oops. I think that bit too small, but it's okay if your drawing's not perfect. So after all, if you do have more, you can do it again, but I didn't want to do that because I want to get this done quite quickly. And that. This might not look like the usual Santa Claus, but it's my best try on a tiny bubble. Oops. Let's do this off arm. And let's do a nice blue sky in the background. I've got a nice string, which I can paint for blue. If you don't want to do that with your strings, it's okay, but I'm going to do mine blue because I think it looks quite nice. As well, you can do a dark blue, which will make the sky look like it's night time, but I'm doing a daytime Santa. done then we can get back on to do the actual drawing so yeah as well if you've seen any of my other videos comment down below in the comments area that'd be good As well with these markers, this makes it look like a nice purple, so it's kind of shading as well. If you do, you, if you do have shading, um, like pens or markers or whatever you're using, it is, it would be nice to use shading, which would look better. But I don't have any shading markers, so. If you do, you're lucky. As well, what type of drawing do you like to do? Write in the comments. So, there's your Santa Claus. Um, bubble kind of thing. And we'll let that to dry. And then we can go on to the back. And do like a nice signature if you want to do. I'll do that, but obviously... Again, you don't have to do that. Just get this back bit. 
and then now I'll do another one. So. Okay, well, we're running out of time, so here are some others that I've done on this, on this tree. Well, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.